I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresca with your need to know weather. We still have a flood watch in effect through noontime today, but I can tell you that much of that rain will be taping or tapering off before then. Additional rains will be on the limited side. These are fast moving showers and thunderstorms this morning that is going to prevent any more uh, significant flooding across the area. But some of those thunderstorms will quickly produce one to two inches of rain. You can see by eight, nine o'clock this morning, most of that rain is gone and the rest of the afternoon will be mostly cloudy along with some slightly uh, cooler temperatures behind the front. But we are looking at temperatures warming today, somewhere in the upper 60s to low 70s, overnight lows dropping down into the 40s and 50s. Now, the flood risk on Friday is going to go up slightly, especially east of I-45 as we get our next frontal boundary to move in. Along that front, uh, stalled front, we'll see some rain gathering and most of us uh, will see just a few light rain showers. East of town is where we could see a little bit more focus of a few heavier downpours. You can see that with future track. It's quiet during uh, the morning hours, but as we get into the afternoon, a few of those showers could blossom into some heavier downpours and some isolated thunderstorms. But that clears out just in time for the weekend. A northwest breeze picking up. And at times it will be breezy on Saturday with winds out of the northwest between 20 to 25 miles per hour. The winds subside on Sunday. Expect temperature readings in the morning to start off in the 40s with highs in the 60s. No rain in the forecast this weekend. And looking ahead into early next week, we start off with a nice, quiet, dry weather pattern. It does cool off Monday morning into the upper 30s before we start a gradual warm up late in the week, along with some building rain chances. All right, that's a look at your forecast on this Thursday. Thanks for watching.